As DDoS attacks continue to grow in sophistication, size, and frequency, they are becoming a serious issue for organizations all over the world. For instance, Heimdall discovered no less than 11,453 detections between January and May 2022. So naturally, we too need to take a look at these highly disruptive attacks that can cause huge revenue losses to companies worldwide, companies that are not not ready to properly mitigate such incidents. What is a DDoS attack? How does it work? Consequences of such attacks and what should you do in order to stay protected and keep your company safe? We will tackle all this in today's video. DDoS attack stands for Distributed Denial of Service Attack and is a type of online threat used to prevent legitimate users from accessing connected online services and websites. It is done by flooding that particular website with a multitude of illegitimate information requests during a short period of time with the intent of overwhelming the site and causing it to crush. The distributed part means that these attacks are being launched from multiple locations at the same time, as opposed to a DOS attack, which is launched from just one location. So when a website is subjected to a DDoS attack, the user will be swamped with thousands of requests from various sources for minutes, if not hours. Keep in mind that these requests are the result of a website experiencing a sudden surge in traffic. They're automated and will come from a limited number of sources depending on the attack scope. A DDoS attack may appear to be the same thing as hacking, but it is not. The two can, however, be linked. The attackers will not try to obtain access to your website's uh, files or admin, but will instead end up causing it to crush or become vulnerable as a result of the high volume of requests. In some instances, um, attempts to hack the websites when it is vulnerable will follow, but in most cases, the goal is simply to make it stop functioning. Depending on the nature of the attack and how well you prepared for it, a DDoS incident can have multiple outcomes. Here are some of them. Website downtime. The first thing that will happen is that your website will be overwhelmed and become impossible to access. This means that any business you gain through your website will be unavailable to you until the site is operational again. It also has an impact on your reputation as the owner of the website. And if you don't fix it right away, it can also hurt your SEO because if Google discovers it's down, you will end up losing rank. The workflow will be affected because a DDoS attack will leave employees unable to access the email and the other online resources they need to get their work done. Server and hosting problems. If your site is constantly attacked and you don't take any action to protect it, it could cause problems with your hosting provider. A good hosting provider will give you tools to safeguard your site from DDoS attacks, but if you don't have this and you're using shared hosting, the cyber attacks may impact other sites on the same server. Website vulnerability. As I previously mentioned, a DDoS attack can expose your website to hacking because all of your systems are focused on getting the site back up and running and your security systems may have been disabled as a result of the cyber attack. Lost time and money. It takes time to restore a website that has been affected by a DDoS attack, and it can also be quite expensive. If you don't know what happened to your site and don't have a plan in place in case of an attack, you may have to rebuild it from the ground up. And again, the attack can have a long-term impact on your site SEO and business performance if you don't address it right away. Also, for retail sites, purchasing will be impossible. Last but not least, affect customer experience, since the customers may not be able to access your company's website or mobile app. Now that we talked about the outcomes of a DDoS attack, let's take a look at how it works. Despite our perceptions of the internet as infinite cyberspace, web servers and the channels that connect them to the internet and other network resources have a limited number of requests and capacity. If this number is exceeded, usually by cybercriminals, the responses to the requests that legitimate users launch will be much slower or the requests themselves might be completely bypassed, which is the objective of a denial-of-service 
threat actor. Now, what are the motives behind this type of attack? Well, it might be to discredit a business, maybe by its competition, or to ask for payment before stopping the attack. Hackers uh, use DDoS attacks or the threat of a DDoS attack as a way of getting money from their victims. Also, so-called hacktivists who launch DDoS attacks against websites they disagree with ideologically sometimes is just boredom. The attackers are typically bored looking for an address adrenaline rush. Do you know how to identify a DDoS attack? If not, let me help you with that. Website or service that is slow or unavailable out of a sudden is the most obvious indication of a DDoS attack. However, because a variety of factors such as legitimate traffic increase can produce similar performance issues, more investigation is considered necessary. Here are the other signs. Unusual amounts of traffic coming from a single IP address or IP range, a surge in traffic from uh, users with a single behavior profile such as device type, geolocation or web browser version, an inexplicable spike in requests to a single web page or endpoint, and abnormal traffic patterns such as uh, surges at unusual times of the day or patterns that seem strange like a spike every 15 minutes for instance. How to stay protected when it comes to DDoS attacks? I have some recommendations for you, of course. Create a denial of service response plan. When a company realizes that it has been impacted by a DDoS attack, there is no time to think about next steps. To minimize damages, it is important to have a beforehand plan on how you would react to such incidents. Form a response team, define procedures, make a list of internal and external contacts that should be informed about this type of cyber attack. Make sure you have basic network security. Sometimes denial of service attacks are just a cover for more complex cyber attacks designed to infect an organization with malware or steal its information. Once systems are back online, scan and search everywhere and look for malware. Any company's cybersecurity plan should include advanced intrusion prevention and threat management software firewalls, VPN, anti-spam and phishing, and content filtering solutions. Another important way to prevent compromising your business network is using secure and complex passwords that are changed on a regular basis. Watch for warning signs. It is important to monitor your traffic and always look for anomalies. It is a spike in traffic or an attack. Although no network works perfectly all the time, if the lack of performance is more serious than usual, then you should take action. Keep your system and software up to date. Your system and all the software you use should be kept up to date to make sure that all the bugs and issues are fixed in time. Simulate an attack. If you simulate a DDoS attack against your IT infrastructure using third-party tools and pen testing, you will be able to observe how it behaves in such a situation and check if you still have some changes to make to your denial of service response plan. Contact your internet service provider and host. Many internet service providers and hosting companies have backup measures and protocols in place to deal with DDoS attacks and help mitigate the damage to normalize activity. Ideally, contact them before an attack happens and plan ahead of time on how to include them in your response plan. Distributed denial of service attacks can cause severe outages and financial loss in addition to placing excessive stress on IT professionals trying to bring resources back online. The right detection and prevention methods can help you stop a DDoS incident before it gains enough momentum to impact your company's networks. And this is all for today, my darlings. Please make sure to like this video, share it, and bring your friends with you on our YouTube channel. We have more interesting cybersecurity topics coming real soon. Bye-bye.